Hi there. Now for this last question, we're asked to find the expected number of points scored in the bonus round, and it turns out to be 30. So as usual, I'm going to take you slowly through the work solution, although you might want to fast forward at any time. So we're told then for this bonus round, which consists of three questions, that you get 20 points for a correct answer and a wrong answer loses five points. So what I need to do, first of all, is to think about drawing up a probability distribution table for this bonus round, looking at the total number of points that you could score. And then I should be able to work out the expected value from it. So I need to define a random variable and I'm going to let it be y. Let y be the random variable, the total score in the bonus round. So if we build up a table for this, it's going to look something like this, okay, where we've got our observed value, y, and we've got the next row is the probability that the random variable y takes on any observed value. So what could you get? Well, you might get all three correct questions correct, okay? And if that's the case, you're going to get a total of 20 points for each correct answer, and so it's going to total 60. It might be that you end up getting, say, just two questions correct. So you could have two questions correct and the third one wrong. So that'd be a total of 20 points, Another 20 points, subtract 5 points. So that's going to come down to 35 points. 20 plus 20 minus 5. What else could you have? Well, you could have, say, one correct answer and two others that are wrong. So that's going to be a correct answer. That's 20 points. Subtract 10 points, two wrong ones. Okay, so... 20 minus 10, that's going to leave us with 10 points there. And finally, you could have all of them wrong, okay? All three questions wrong, which will be a, t a loss of 15 points. So that's going to be minus 15. Now we need to put the probabilities in. But when you think about it, those probabilities are going to be exactly the same as what we had for the random variable x in our original table because you've got exactly the same type of things can happen. Correct answers, three correct answers, two correct answers and the wrong one and so on. So those probabilities are going to be exactly the same. So if we copy them from the original table then you're going to get these values in here. So when it comes to working out the expected value for the score in the bonus round, okay, e of y, then we work it out in the usual way, which is sigma of the, any observed value times its corresponding probability, okay? So if you carry out that calculation, then you should get something like this. And then if you total that on your calculator, you find the answer is 30. Okay, so that's the expected number of points scored in the bonus round.